1-800-DUIOA, now offering free remote consultations by phone or video conference for any criminal offense. Trust Brooke, Jeffrey, and Jose's friends with a free remote consultation. From Bradley Johnson Lawyers, visit 1-800-DUIOA.com or call 1-800-DUIOA. All right, it's time for your phone tap. And if you've ever lived in an apartment complex, you know how frustrating it can be when there's a problem in your unit that requires maintenance and building management just drags their feet to get it fixed. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Totally. God, why are they such a-holes? I know. They it's take the forever. They what is do. the holdup? I don't know. Well, today I call a woman who's been waiting weeks for her silly little toilet paper holder to be fixed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, something simple. She's complained to her boyfriend about this, and then her boyfriend told uh, me. That's so good. we're going to call her, and we are going to fix it. <laughs> But I can promise you it's not the way that she's ever dreamed of it being fixed. <laughs> You'll find out in your brand new phone tap right now. It's another phone tap. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, I'm looking to speak with Rose D- in Unit 304. Is she my actor calling? My name's Tony. I work at the leasing office. I just wanted to follow up on a maintenance request. Yes. So I'm looking at it here. It says you have a faulty toilet paper holder inside your apartment. Yeah, it won't stay in the holder anymore and it keeps falling out. Okay, yeah. And I see that you left the part with the on-site manager? Yes, that's correct. I did that two weeks ago. Okay. Well, I had one of my best guys look at the issue and turns out there's no easy solution here. <laughs> what, what do you mean? It's a, regular, it's a regular toilet paper holder. Yeah, but also no, not really. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, no? Yes, it is. What? No, so here's the thing. A normal toilet paper holder wouldn't fit with the existing compartment that you have attached to the wall. And all the Home Depots of the world don't carry it anymore. <laughs> oh, I mean... Because, I mean, your apartment is older, so it has some older fixtures in there. Okay. That's why we commissioned a welder to come out and make one custom just for you. So oh, come on, stop it. A welder, that's not really going to happen. Yeah, no, we did. But here's the problem. The work has to be done inside your apartment so he gets the measurements precisely correct. I mean, like, how long is that going to take? I'll get to that because once he makes it, then we'll need to powder coat the custom holder to give it a chrome finish like you would normally see I mean, regular holders. Are you serious? You have to do all of that just for the holder? Well, yeah, but I'm not done yet because then after our crew finishes installing it, we're required by the city to come out and have it inspected. I mean, you know, make not, sure it's up to code. I mean, you've got to be f- joking. Like, no. this is, it's just a toilet paper holder. No, Rose, the welder showed me a mock-up of what he has in mind. It's the Bentley of toilet paper holders. I don't want an expensive holder, okay? I just give me the basic cheap one. I don't need a luxurious holder. Well, that's not how we do things here, Rose. So you're going to have to find another place to live for about two weeks while that happens. I mean, two weeks? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's honestly ridiculous. I don't have another place to go. I'm sorry, but the fumes from the powder coating alone don't dissipate for at least 10 days. I mean, you have to do it for your safety. I understand that, but I'm not leaving my place just for a toilet paper holder to be installed. When I've done work at my house, I just stay at one of my other properties. I don't, no problem. Ha- I don't have another property, asshole. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, I always have at least two or three properties open just in case I need a break from the penthouse. <laughs> okay, well, I'm so sorry that your life is so hard that you have to go to your penthouse. Yeah, it to is. To get away from your other properties. But I'm happy I- that you can appreciate my struggle. I mean, I was being sarcastic, you moron. Like, I'm not leaving mm. my property. That's not what's happening. Well, everything has been booked. Unless you want to pay the $750 cancellation fee, then I could put a stop order on Wait, it. Wait, I'm sorry. What did you say? Did you say $750? Yeah, to cancel how the work. Even, how would this even cost $750? Well, I already told you. I mean, we hired the welder plus the powder coater. We already reached out to the city for the inspections. I mean, this is what it takes. Okay, so first of all, I dropped this off to the manager of my place. Do you even work for my apartment complex? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, no. I, 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 you're I, not somebody I contacted. The truth is I don't work for the apartment complex. I actually kind of work for your boyfriend. What? Because he's the one that set you up for this prank phone call. 
Are you kidding me? Who, yeah. I, wait, who is this? My name is Jeffrey from the radio show Broken Jeffrey in the Morning. We're doing a phone tap on you. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. I'm like yelling at you. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? I know, don't blame me. Blame your boyfriend, Kevin, because he set you up. <laughs> like, he said you've been really annoyed about how long it takes for anything in your apartment to get fixed, and he just wanted us to mess with you a little bit. I mean, when you told me that I had to get out of my place for a toilet paper holder, <laughs> I was like, get the f*** out of here. Honestly, Rose, I think your boyfriend just set this up so that you would go and live with him. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the whole motivation behind the prank. Um, that's funny. That's a good one. So, yes, you will live with him? Um, we'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Wake up every morning with phone tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5.